begin by gently mixing the sample. Using a small cup, fill the cup with 100 cc of the sample and place the sample directly into the strainer. Blast the sample with a forceful stream of water. Remove the debris into a waste bin after the sample has been blasted. It is important to clean the strainer between each samples to reduce contamination. Before pouring your sample, be sure to wet your 400 sieve thoroughly. While holding the sieve at a 45 degree angle, slowly pour the sample onto the sieve. Gently pat the sieve to remove excess water while pouring. With a gentle stream of water, slowly wash the sample to one end of the sieve. Carefully transfer the sample from the sieve into a 100 millimeter centrifuge tube. Thoroughly rinse the sieve and funnel in between samples to reduce contamination. When running a single sample, fill a second centrifuge tube with water equal to that of the sample. Place the two tubes opposite of each other in the centrifuge. Latch the lid and set the centrifuge to run at 3500 RPM for three minutes, allowing extra time for the centrifuge to reach top speed.
After centrifuging, slowly pour off the supernate, keeping the small pellet at the bottom of the tube. Be sure to clean off the top of the tube of any debris. Fill the centrifuge tube with sugar solution, stopping a half inch before the top of the tube. Using a stirrer, gently mix the sugar solution and pellet together. Once the sugar solution and pellet have been mixed, return the tube to the centrifuge for another 3 minutes at 3500 RPM. After centrifuging, wet a small 500 mesh sieve and pour the sample onto the sieve. Rinse away all of the remaining sugar water and move the sample to one side of the 500 mesh sieve. The sample can now be moved into a 50 milliliter tube and stored at 4 degrees Celsius until ready to be counted. As before, rinse the sieve and funnel in between samples.